Over the last year, we've seen crowds gather in Tahrir Square in Egypt and in Wall Street. We've seen them rally together in Delhi, and we've seen them march on Washington. But tonight, tonight we too gather to raise our voices, our resources, and to exercise our choice for women and girls everywhere in the world. I am excited to share with you the new direction of the Global Fund approved by our board, whom you've seen here, just a few hours ago. And you are the first to know. Because the Global Fund was founded here in San Francisco in the Bay Area. For the last 12 months, as we celebrated our anniversary, we've analyzed past grants, surveyed our grantee partners, talked with our advisors, and consulted with experts. We've asked researchers from Stanford University to study our 25 years and give us a feedback. And here is what we've learned. We set out to build a global movement for women and led by women, and we have succeeded. We have largely succeeded. But we knew that to make 4,500 organizations be powerful, we needed to link these groups in order to increase their power. The research has confirmed that we networked hundreds of groups advancing sexual and reproductive health and rights, advocating for domestic workers' rights, LGBT rights, indigenous, uh, indigenous rights, and groups working to reduce gender-based violence. Our grantee partners have helped to pass laws in 25 countries which will protect 1.5 billion women in the world. This is success. But it's not enough. We are not satisfied. We are determined that our next $100 million will be raised in five years, and our grant making will have even more impact. So we will focus on a few issues and deepen our investments and our ev evaluations. We will invest in women's rights organizations working to achieve zero violence against women, economic and political empowerment, and sexual and reproductive rights and health for all women. These three areas embrace our strength and they respond to the most widespread needs of women and girls, and they will have the greatest impact in achieving our vision. We know that when women and girls are free from violence, empowered, and in control of their own bodies, they have the ability to achieve their full potential. We have the evidence to support this thesis. And we know that, and we know organizations around the world that are making greatest advances in these areas. And we won't pursue our work in every place, but we will focus where women have the greatest challenges. We will support women's organizations using a variety of, uh, of, uh, of, of uh, we will support organizations that use a variety of educational and advocacy approaches in their work. We will support them to embrace intergenerational leadership and specifically to promote young women's leadership. We will ensure we will ensure that they use technology to work smarter and faster. And we will give them larger and more multi-year grants without losing our nimbleness of small grants to startup groups and also for new ideas. I am passionate about leading the Global Fund in this new direction. Because for me, this is a personal journey. I embody the change we want to see in women and girls. I am that girl 
that grew up in a village, got an education, and could decide to have or not to have children, to love whomever I, I wanted, and I do have a bank account of my own. And, and yet I'm profoundly aware that this was made possible because of a mother and a father who tossed tradition and believed that education was good for their seven daughters as it was for their three sons. I am at the Global Fund because I want the same for millions of girls and women denied opportunities by tradition, religion, or poverty. The Global Fund is the organization that has sounded the alarm when women's rights have been compromised. And we will continue to ring that bell even louder to act for change, dignity, and justice for all women and girls everywhere. And finally, this work isn't done just out there. This work is done here and done together. It's urgent. It's about saving lives. It's about justice. It cannot wait. If you are about saving lives, if you believe in justice, if you cannot wait any longer, you have come to the right place. And I, and I, want, I want to hear you assure me that you will stand with me by truly responding loud that if you care for justice and you will work with me, please answer in a resounding yes with me. Thank you, and we have to get started today.